Welcome to Terry's Kitchen, where we talk food, faith, and family. Today I am making my pickled eggs for our Easter dinner. I usually make pickled eggs about a week before our dinner um, so that they have time to, to get nice and pickled and, and have a wonderful burgundy color. So, But before I do that, I'd like to read out of the NIV Bible. Jesus prays on the Mount of Olives. Jesus went out, as usual, to the Mount of Olives, and his disciples followed him. On reaching the place, he said to them, Pray that you will not fall into temptation. He withdrew without a stone's throw beyond them, knelt down, and prayed, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me, yet not my will, but yours be done. An angel from heaven appeared to him and strengthened him. And being in anguish, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat was like drops of blood falling to the ground. When he rose from prayer and went back to the disciples, he found them asleep, exhausted from sorrow. Why are you sleeping? he asked. Get up and pray so that you will not fall in temptation. So that was um, Luke 22, 39 through... 46. So, dear Heavenly Father, gracious Lord, as we prepare um, our food and the gathering to, to stop and, and realize um, that you died on the cross for us, we thank you, Lord, as we fellowship on um, Easter Sunday. We thank you, Lord, for your love upon us. Uh, Lord, I, I send out a special prayer to all those that are watching this video. Thank you for leading and guiding and protecting them. And I thank you, Lord, for your protection that you have over our family. Lord, we ask this in your precious name. Amen. Thank you for letting me do that. I'm going to wash my hands and we'll get started. Okay. So pickled eggs, I'm going to lower my, my eggs or a bowl in here. So I use... Um, if you watched my video um, this summer or early fall, we made pickled beets. And boy, they have just been so good this year. And I usually make extra for pickled beets, but I wanted to show you how I make my sauce if I'm using um, store-bought canned beets. So I thought I'm going to use my same ingredients, but kind of walk you through that, because I have done that too. If I have lots of pickled beets that I have prepared left over, I'll use the juice from those. But this year, I can hardly keep those things on hand. Everybody's loved them. So I have 16 eggs, a bowl in here. And so once they're done, and um, I'll peel those and let them cool. So in my pot, I'm going to turn that on. I'm going to add one cup of strong apple cider vinegar, one cup of water, and I drained the juice from three cans of sliced beets. You can use the sliced beets or you can use the chunk beets. What I like to do is take the beets out of that juice and while I'm cooking the sugar down, I don't want to have to run across all those beets, and I'll put those in when it starts to boil. I may not put all the beets in. I may just keep those, and we'll have butter beets, because I don't want that to take all the room. I want my room to be for my eggs, so they can pickle. So this is, actually came to two cups of beet juice. Now, if you're using fresh beets, your pickled eggs are going to be a much brighter burgundy because being canned like that, it's kind of lost some of that red color and burgundy color. So that was um, the juice from three cans of the beets. So and to that I'm going to add one cup of sugar, half a teaspoon of allspice because I'm trying to get that spice from those beets that I had this fall. A half a tablespoon of cinnamon, and I know that's kind of a, an odd measurement, um, but just get 
half of your tablespoon. Get your cinnamon in there. And a half a teaspoon, well, this almost looks like one teaspoon, but I have in the recipe about a half a teaspoon of whole cloves. So I'm going to put that in there, and I'm going to stir that. Get that mixed up good. And what I'm going to do, once that's mixed here, I'll add some of those beets. I want to get that sugar in there and get those spices. Okay, so I'm going to add probably about half of the beets. And that's going to help with that pretty color. Now, if you would like to put all the beets in, that's okay. Go for it. Um, I just, you know, I don't want to chase around those beets to get to my eggs. There we go. Stir that in. And that's really all that it is to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that come to a boil. And I'm going to have that boil for a strong boil for about 10 minutes. And then what I'll do is I'm going to let my, this, the, the juice itself cool. I'm going to let, going to peel my eggs, going to let them cool. And then I've got me a, a nice big old glass jar that I'm going to put those in. So we'll be back shortly. Okay, our pickled beet juice boiled for the 10 minutes. I put it, the juice in my glass container and I, the eggs finished, I peeled those and I let those cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop my eggs into the, uh, the juice and the aroma of the cloves, the cinnamon and the allspice and the vinegar is good. So we've had, always had pickled eggs for Easter. Uh, Sadie is got is barking at the neighborhood, uh, the dog. So if you hear Sadie barking, uh, you know it's all good. So, but we always had pickled eggs. That was part of our Easter dinner. That as long as I can remember. And um, so it is. You know, I don't know what we would do if we didn't have the pickled eggs. So I'm gonna stick that in there, and you can see how the juice really kind of absorbs those eggs. So what I'm going to do, I have these little cheap little plastic things that I'm going to seal over those. And the reason being, when I put my lid on, because what you're going to need to do, because if you, I don't know if you can see here, and I'll hold it up here, the tops of the eggs are still white and showing. So every day I will get in the refrigerator and I will shake those up just to get them turned um, around so that all of them get evenly um, dyed with the pickle juice. So it's just something I do. Now you can start, I, I kind of recommend if you want to sneak some that you probably would wait at least two days so some of that flavor really gets through. But uh, like I said, just go in the refrigerator, shake it up each day so you can get the whites nice and pickled. So I hope you would consider making pickled eggs for your holiday or even it's just a great snack to have anytime. Sometimes I use pickled eggs for my breakfast to get that protein and, and just enjoy it. Ron's not a big fan, but Catherine loves them and you know all of my family enjoys them. So hope you would consider making them. Thank you so much for liking our videos sharing, subscribing. We do appreciate it. Blessing.